Okay, so I'm going to talk about, you know, hospital appointments. Um, and I've had, uh, yeah, there's great, great fear, you know, having had kidney failure and having to go for appointments. And they, you know, they, they give you, uh, they, you know, the hospitals have got, you know, these scores. And, you know, when you, go, when you look at your blood test, they give you these bands, like healthy, unhealthy, mm. okay, normal. And when you've got kidney, f I mean, and whatever the illness is, they'll have these bands, you know, like, you know, whether it's asthma, they'll, they'll make you blow into something and they'll go, oh, that's pretty awful, or, that's pretty good. Or <laughs> if you've got kidney failure, say your creatinine levels are very toxic, you know, oh, you, you know, this is called, this is called, uh, you, you know, like this is, uh, what is it, chronic, this is like end stage kidney failure. <laughs> or, yes. or like, you know, this is like pre end stage kidney failure or whatever. <laughs> This is like early stage kidney failure. You're like, oh my God, I don't think, <laughs> like, if you're between this number and this number, it means you're bad or bad or you're just about to die soon or something <laughs> like that. So it's like, can you get these, you wait for the doctor to tell you, you know, like, and you know what these numbers mean because you look at the tables, you go, I hope I'm in this number, mm -hmm. not that number, or even blood pressure, you know, well, this, this is healthy, whatever it is, you know. So they've got these belief systems based on nightmare, basically. Uh, and they program you with that. And they've got statistics like, you know, mm. oh, you know, well, you know, this, if you had a transplant, this is, the, this is the likelihood of how long it's going to last. You know, I mean, it's so unhelpful. And they program you with this stuff. And they always tell you, like, or like, uh, before you have this operation, just sign this thing and tell you that it could go terribly wrong. Yeah. You, could, you could die. <laughs> and we take no responsibility for it. <laughs> you definitely need it. <laughs> And you need to sign this before we do it. And if everything goes wrong, we're totally incompetent. You just yeah. sign this piece of paper. So, so once you go to hospitals, you know, you get all of this stuff going on. And these are all like programs, mm -hmm. you know. And, and you also have like things, you know, like, um, you know, you sometimes meet those nurses who've got the golden touch and whatever they do doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. And then you've got those people, like they've had like a bottle of vodka just to feel <laughs> come in, and they just grab the needle, like they're going like, <laughs> kind of like, I can't see where your veins are. <laughs> like, let me just let me have, let me have that first go, and go, oh, that didn't quite work, let me try the other one, and this yeah. one. <laughs> and so, so you have all of these, uh, all of these experiences. <laughs> And uh, so you get this kind of stuff, sorry if this is traumatising anyone, but, but uh, so it's like, you know, I would go in there and it would be like, you know, I've got to cancel everything that happens, you know, because as soon as you go in there, they're going to like, talk, you know, doctors also have a thing of authority, mm -hmm. like we project so much authority, as soon as they wear a white coat and you're in front of them, something goes into a place of absolute like programming. Tell me everything and I'll believe you 100% because you have the white coat on, you know. <laughs> so it's like you go, you, the consciousness goes into a very kind of innocent, open, mm. program me. And that's really, really uh, dangerous, mm. you know. If you're doing A Course in Miracles, <clears throat> you know, you can't let those belief systems get in. So first of all, whenever a doctor would start speaking, in my head I'd be going, I cancel, 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 cancel. Or uh, I had to do that, not, not even the observer, because for me the observer would be slightly vulnerable. Because it'd be, because, you know, he's speaking so loudly, it's like cancelling, so don't get in. I don't want to take your programs on board. Um, and also, before I go in for a hospital appointment, I have so many projections I need to clear up. Now, if I'm in fear before going into a hospital appointment, <clears throat> you know, for me it's like sitting with the fear and feeling all the fear out. Uh, because when I, when I go to a place in fear, my, my fear is more likely going to manifest the thing I don't want to happen. You know, if I'm afraid, I hope they don't give me a score of less than this. That, and I start thinking, I don't want that, and I'm having fear. That vibration of fear and thinking about it non-stop, probably, you know, it's going to have a bad effect. So, feel the fear out. Um, also, just cancel all belief systems associated with the hospital and the appointment. Um, and uh, so energetically clear up the fear before going in. 
or either cancel the beliefs or place it into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and transcendence around all the data that you associate with it. But in the hospital, definitely like don't pick up programs. You know, also like when you go into um, e each illness has got its culture and its programming, and you've got to ca cancel all of that. Um, and feel it out energetically. I just want to just want to share. I mean, you know, the Course in Miracles. I mean, Hawkins transcended twenty three illnesses, and uh, and I just want to share this. You know, like everything, all symptoms are just um, belief systems from the nightmare of the collective. You know, asthma, kidney failure, osteoporosis, um, all of these are just belief systems within the collective. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you believe in them, or the doctor says you've got this, you, you buy the program within the collective. It's like a software package, you know, like you know, gout, you know, high uric acid levels, mm -hmm. feeling like you're lethargic, <clears throat> or in, inflamed pains or asthma, breathlessness. They're just like sub, they're lots of little programs. Mm -hmm. Like each illness has about maybe five, five or six hundred maybe belief systems on how to manifest that illness. Mm -hmm. So you just like, you can delete it all. I just share, like Hawkins shared his testimony with me, I share my testimony with you. And I had this experience meeting an enlightened teacher where I had a white light spiritual experience. And quite literally, a gout attack disappeared in a split second, you know. And it was like being immersed in the light of God. It's like all your illnesses disappear in a split second. There's, there's nothing more powerful than the light of God. And, and so I realized that all these beliefs, they're just belief systems. You can, you know, God has the power to remove them. Of course it's not, I mean, you know, can you access that level of power? I and mean, it's another question, I'm not saying it's easy. But imagine having 13, yeah, 13 medication as a transplant patient and going down to one in two years, just by going against my belief in adverse side effects. So this is the thing of like not attributing power. I took the medical stuff, but just canceled my belief in the side effects and then it went from 13 to one medicine. I, I felt out my, in, my asthma attacks and then they discharged me from the asthma clinic. Mm. Um, you know, my gout attacks, I felt the feelings and I cancelled my belief in gout and high uric acid levels and they discharged me from the rheumatology clinic. You know, so that wasn't done by popping another pill. Mm. Also, it wasn't done by mentally thinking about the problem. So for me, like thinking and worrying and mentally trying... You know, there's a thing of mentally understanding something for me has very limited power. To mentalization and rationalization and understanding things doesn't really have the power of miracles. Mm. I mean, it's useful. Like, it, you know, um, there's a, there's, yeah, okay. So there is, um, so for me, you know, the power of spirit is more powerful than the power of thinking. But just immunize yourself from um, 